This is a brief overview of a typical NetSupport DNA installation. As part of this process and to highlight the ease of use, I'd like to draw your attention to the system clock, which will show the time it takes us to deploy all of the key components of NetSupport DNA. So to begin with, we've run the setup.exe that we've downloaded from the website, www.netsportdna.com, and that installer program will be prepared. And shortly, as we can see on the screen here, the installer will begin. First of all, we'll click next on our installation script. And we're asked to agree to the license terms provided by NetSupport. And then we have the choice of doing a full server install, server, console, and agent, a console install, which includes a console and agent, or just the agent component for a particular machine. But to show you the options, we'll select a custom install. Within the custom install, we have a number of components, and for each component, such as the SNMP server, we can choose whether we want the features to be installed. We're going to select the five key components, server, console, agent, application packager, and click next. In this case, we don't have an SQL server on the local machine, so the system is prompting us and advising that it will now install a copy of SQL Server Express. And to use the system securely, we're now prompted to provide an admin username and password that will be used to access DNA in due course. Finally, in this case, the system will default to an evaluation copy, but we could browse and load a license purchased. And if we're looking to use NetSupport DNA across multiple sites, we can put in the address details of our gateways as the schematic shows. We're also going to install a corporate version as opposed to an education version of the product for this demo. We'll then click next to actually begin the installation process and you'll see the process now fine tunes with the SQL server install initially. For the purpose of this we've sped up this part of the video slightly so that you don't have to watch the full progress. We're now progressing through the full SQL installation so that we have our database and repository available to us for NetSupport DNA to use. And that will be completed in a couple of seconds. We then continue the installation of the core NetSupport DNA programs and applications that we selected as part of the installer script. And again, once those are done, we'll be prompted to confirm the installation process has been completed, which should happen any second now. Excellent, click finish, and the system is going to warn us that we need to restart our machine for all features to be available. For the purpose of this demonstration, we'll leave that and come back to it shortly. We'll open up our start menu on our Windows system, and we're going to access the new DNA console, so we can search in our applications. For N for net support, and you'll see we have a net support DNA folder that's due, and there we have our console. Now, with the details we set earlier, we have our admin and our password to sign in to the NetSupport DNA console. And once we're in, you'll see that we have a single PC stored within our inventory, and that PC is the server itself. And you'll see it matches the same name as the server detail at the bottom of the screen. So start to finish installing our server and setup, you'll see from the bottom of the screen there, took us just over seven minutes. Thank you for viewing this tour. Please visit www.netsupportdna.com to find out more, or if appropriate, download a free 30-day trial.